everyone, welcome back. Long time no talk. I have missed you guys so much and I would just like to welcome all of my new subscribers. I've noticed I gained quite a few uh, subscribers recently and no matter how you found my channel or where you're coming from, I just want to say thank you for subscribing and welcome to my channel. And this is going to be like a super quick update as to what's been going on. There's been some changes and then I will totally get right into my July ipsy unbagging video. So first things first is my little hiatus is because of school. This semester I was taking chem 2 last semester in a six week period and now I'm taking microbiology with the lab in a six week period and that was like literally the worst decision ever. Yeah I want to finish school early but let me tell you that class is kicking my butt four days a week. I'm there from morning till afternoon and then as soon as I get home it's literally homework or studying. It's just so difficult and it requires so much studying and I literally have time for absolutely nothing. It has been school and work and that is it and I have missed you guys so much and um, that's why I've been on the little hiatus and uh, I didn't really feel like doing my makeup today. I'll be 110% honest with you guys. My face went ahead and went into like disaster mode about a week and a half ago and it was just blotchy and breaking out and it was just looking awful. So I haven't really been wearing makeup in general recently and I've just been putting nothing but like good stuff on my face. So um, I figured why not, you know, keep that up and not clog it just to film a real quick video so I hope you guys don't mind I'm actually really pleased with the way what is this hair doing but um, I'm really pleased with the way my face is looking right now I honestly at this very moment have no active breakouts and no like uneven texture to my skin tone and any like discoloration that you see unfortunately just hyperpigmentation that I get acne scarring things like that so I'm actually really face face really pleased with the way my face has been uh, clearing up and everything like that and then the second thing I want to address is that I do have a new lighting setup so hopefully you guys can see the difference I definitely looking at my viewfinder this looks a lot better but let me know in the comments below what you think of course this is the very first time I'm filming with my new setup initially I had like this dinosaur age like lighting setup and it just wasn't working it was such a hassle it was the most pathetic lighting setup ever and I went ahead and for my birthday my dad went ahead and built me this gorgeous vanity and I have four like LED lights on each side of me now and I will definitely have like a makeup collection vanity tour coming up soon um, right now after I film this video I'm actually gonna go through and organize everything and set it up how I want it so that will definitely be in the near future and what else do I want to address? I think that's about it. So this is kind of like my first test video using my new lighting setup. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to upload this video regardless because I honestly don't see when I'm going to have any more time to like film and upload. So I wanted to get my Ipsy bag done before it's like August already. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. This is my first video so I'll probably have to go around and tweak the camera settings and things like that but I just wanted to see how it would look if I just bam sat down and filmed turned my lights on and went to work so yeah now we are going to go ahead and get into my ipsy bag so let's see I actually honestly because I didn't think I was gonna have time to open to film this video and open it for you guys I did peek in my glam room so I did look in it so I kind of know what I got but honestly I looked what seems like forever ago so I kind of like forgot half the stuff that I got so we'll just go ahead and see what's in here so of course you always have the little card and then this bag is actually pretty cute it's this hot pink uh, leather type bag and then it's scalloped on the edges which is cute it's simple but it's totally really cute at the same time and it says ipsy of course then opening it up the first thing we have here is this Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Shadow and it just looks like that. So I wonder, cream shadow. Alright, so I went ahead and got this little, it's a really small sample, it's just that big. So let's see. So this one looks like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, just dropped it, but um, 
So this just looks like it's a pretty small sample size, but um, this looks like it would just be flesh tone pretty much, and I don't know what color this is. Um, oh, okay, so I think it says it here on the back. Well, it has sunscreen in it, and uh, it has an SPF of 15, so I mean that's good because your eyelids are pretty thin, so you wouldn't think to go ahead and wear BB cream or like a, an SPF on your eyes, but that's I guess pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, this is in the shade Barely Nude. So yeah, pretty much a flesh tone color. It's exactly what it looks like. And opening it up, this is really hard to grab a hold of. Okay, so opening it up, it just has this little doe foot applicator. And this is so creamy. Oh my goodness, like I barely touched it to my skin and that's what it looks like. Don't mind, I was writing down like a phone number to call up a company earlier, but um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty flesh toned, um, but super creamy. Wow, this feels really nice and it blends like a dream. Wow. So I'm actually excited to go ahead and try that out. Then the next thing we have here is the Pixie Tinted Brilliance Balm, and it's just like this clear looking lip balm it's in the pencil and I guess it's one of those yeah it's one of just those little twist up ones so I have nothing on my lips right now so okay it says it's a tinted lip balm it's kind of minty which I really like I totally enjoy like minty lip kind of products so not bad about that it is a little sample size though so so far we've had two little samples in our bag then the next thing we have here is in this little packet, and this is the Clear Clinic. This is the Clear Spot Treatment, so I guess I'd imagine this is for acne spots. And it has salicylic acid in it, glycolic acid. And so yeah, <clears throat> this is just what it looks like, just a little vial. It has a doe foot applicator in it and then I guess it looks pretty liquidy. I guess you would just dab it on your spots. I would probably actually put it on my finger and then dab it into my spots just so you're not like contaminating it but um yeah so that's that. All right not bad. I mean I usually break out all the time. I do have really acne prone skin and just because it's acting really nice right now doesn't mean I won't wake up tomorrow with something so I'll be interested to try that out. Then here we have the Pure Lease uh, Daily Essential Moisturizer with SPF 30. I'm really not a fan of getting skincare products in my bag because I already have skincare products that I really like to use. I'm currently using a cream I picked up from Estee Lauder and I think that is my new holy grail favorite moisturizer of life but I'll go ahead. I'm still in the process of trying it out but I'll definitely go ahead and let you guys know in a future video. I will have a skincare video coming up for you all so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, so I'm pretty sure I've gotten this in another Ipsy bag or something similar to it before so um... I'm not 100% sure though, but I usually am not a fan of skincare products when I do get it. Even though I live in Florida, I feel like my foundation already has an SPF in it and I just don't really like the way SPF feels on my skin. Like as a first thing, if it's in my foundation, I don't mind it too much. And then the last thing we got is Models Own and this is a nail polish. It's this red color here and it looks like it has like little confetti sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, so it just has little confetti sparkles in it, and yeah, I don't know, I feel like this doesn't look like it'd be something really pigmented. It looks kind of like jelly or gloopy, but you never know. I might go ahead and try it out on its own or as like a top coat on like a darker color or like a pink or a red or something. I think it might actually look really nice. I'll have to go ahead and play around with it, but yeah. And yeah, so that's this month's Ipsy bag. Um, definitely not one of my favorites, but I still did get like two products I absolutely am super excited to try out and that's the microscopic bare minerals uh, 
eyeshadow base and then the lip balm I do really like and I do enjoy the brand Pixie. I have a bronzer by them that I got in another Ipsy bag and it's like my holy grail bronzer. I absolutely love it. And yeah, so that is everything I got in my bag this month. It wasn't the best bag, but sometimes Ipsy can be hit or miss, but like 95% of the time, I really do love my bags. And for $10 a month, I still feel like the items I got were totally worth the $10 that I spent. So yeah, not to mention like the little bag that it came in is super cute. So that is everything I got in this month's bag. Let me know if you are signed up for Ipsy, what items you got in your bag. I did watch a couple other videos and I was really uh, excited about the stuff that other people got, but my bag this month just wasn't that great. But there definitely were some really good bags floating around out there. So if you are subscribed to Ipsy, let me know what you got and your thoughts on what you got in your bag. And yeah, like I've mentioned probably 10 times already, definitely let me know what you guys think of my new lighting setup. I know there's a bit of shadowing going on, but unfortunately that's probably going to be one of the downsides to having such bright lights in front of me and everything like that. But once again, I probably just have to, you know, poke around with the camera settings and things like that. But nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to get back into my normal full-time filming schedule and I have a lot of really exciting videos planned for you guys. I'm so stoked to get working on them. And yeah, so that's about everything. I cannot wait to talk to you on my next video. Bye!